Hi there everybody, it's UK independent demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm here with a Simply Citrus card kit that features in the annual catalogue from Stamping Up. It's brand new, still got the cellophane wrap on. I'm going to open it up, see what's in here and have a go at making a few of the cards. So I've got my scissors handy. This card kit is on one of the first pages of the annual catalogue, but you can also find it over on the website. It is available to buy from slimandstylish.com if you go up to the header and click buy. It is £30, so I want to see exactly sort of what we get for our money and what we can make. Quite excited by this. It's quite a nice box. There's the box. opening it up we've got Knight of Navy stamping spot we've got some stamps so let me just pop some whisper white behind there so we can see what we've got we've got thanks for being you just a note hello sunshine way to go a lemon some little flowers by the look of it leaves for the lemon and a orange the segments part so what else have I got in here oh <laughs> is that full look it's popped <laughs> oh dear okay so we've got a block that's brilliant I like it when blocks come with kits it means that any new crafters can just pick it up and get going with this um, so it's a great little, little starting thing as with all our kits it does have an instruction book of the different cards you can put together and exactly what the kit includes so it looks like looks like there's five cards that we can put together so let's, let's get into what's in the actual kit let's move that out the way okay so we've got a whole sheet of dimensionals brilliant all our envelopes oh look at those look um, They've got, so we've got one, two, three, four like that, five like that, six like that, <laughs> seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight like that. So it must make 16 cards in the kit. And we've got those backings for the cards. They're nice those ones oh, I've got some little push outs here for the bits that go on them that's just jade that's one of our new colours I know that because I really like it some more push outs here that one there even more push outs oh are some adhesive dots and we've got that one as well so that's the end of that so let me just pop the box off my desk because that's taking up quite a lot of space oh we've got some little little vellum flowers and some twine as well so i'm going to keep my kit list so let me tell you if it says which colors are in here doesn't but as I'm a demonstrator I really should know so let's have a guess at them so that one's obviously Knight of Navy that one is just Jade this one here Garden Green yeah it looks Garden Green to me this one here Mango Medley I reckon yeah and this one I want to go with Flirty Flamingo but I think it's going to be Calypso Coral there we go. I know my colours. <laughs> right, so let's pop those up there. Now, am I going to make... I had this dilemma the other day because I opened the Box of Sunshine kit, which was also amazing. And I had the dilemma as to whether I'm going to make what they suggest as our five cards 
or whether I'm going to make my own one. But I'm going to think, I think I'm going to make what they've suggested to do with a kit with you so we can see how you build this up. So I'm going to start with the Calypso Coral one because that's on the front. What I am going to do with the kit is instead of opening my Night and Navy stamping spot, I've actually got the ink pad, so I'm going to use the ink pad to save opening the spot. Okay. Now, if you don't have a bone folder, so if you've just bought this kit as a brand new stamper, want to have a go with it, and you haven't got any other stamping materials, it's fine. I use this to burnish the edges, but you can actually use the block that comes in the kit, and you can use that. And that will do it just as well. Okay. So lay everything out on my desk. Right. For this one, if I open it so we can get the big picture of what we're making. I want the Hello Sunshine stamp. So I'm going to peel the backing off this. Now, I always lose these. I try to pop them back on and keep them all together so they stay nice and neat, but eventually I end up losing them and it doesn't mean any detriment to the stamp. So if you do lose it, don't worry. And hello, sunshine. Pop it on my block. Now, I will say for anyone who's had our kits before and had our blocks before that comes from the kits, our usual blocks that you buy from the catalogue have sort of like a thumb hold in them which are very nice and they're easy to use and the kit blocks I've always found a little bit too thin and a little bit too annoying but actually the block that comes in this kit is now about double the size so Stampin' Up! must have changed the size of the blocks that comes in the kit it is now thumb size and that feels a lot easier to use so I'm a lot happier with that so um, if you've had a kit before and you've not been happy with the block it's a much more substantial block this time I think it depends some people like stamping with thinner blocks don't they I think we will have different preferences so I'm going to use my night and navy but you would just use your stamp your little block so hello sunshine sure it's straight now if you've got a block it is a little bit different to doing it on a pad so I've just done that in the pad instead what you would do is you would pop it down that way and you would just ink it up like that because I always think if the stamp is bigger than the block you better to take the block to the stamp so whichever is the biggest is on the bottom okay going on there and it's going with one of these oh look what they've done that's good okay if you are purchasing any of our kits I would always recommend adding a chamois with it they don't come included but it's the one thing I would recommend for all stampers if you're going to the expense of purchasing stamps for yourself Get yourself a chamois and then you can clean them and it's just going to make them last a lot longer and look a lot better. And you don't go to the expense of, of buying things to just leave them with the ink on. So what they've actually done here, if you can see, is they've got an outline around the lemon. That's fine, that's what we're going to do. I've gone blurry. My new camera does this all the time. Whenever I show anything to the camera, I need to take it down slowly, I've worked out. And then we go back into focus. It's really bizarre. So I'm going to pop my lemon in to my ink. Again, if you've had the other ink pad, you do it the other way. And I'm going to just stamp onto there. Like that. And that's what they've done. Just to give it the outline. And I'm going to break a rule for you and I'm going to... No, I'm not. I don't like making up rules and messing up my grid paper. I'm going to do it like this. I 
Okay, learn a lesson from me. I will tell you. There is a thin part of this lemon and a thick part. You'll notice that these three here have lined up pretty perfectly for me, but this one hasn't. And that is because I've used the thick part at the thin part section. Okay. So just a little heads up about that. I'm going to grab one of my blocks now, save me keep wiping and cleaning them. No problem with doing that. Just I don't want you guys sitting there for ages while I'm doing that. I mean, if you've got your head over the top, it'll be dead easy to align all these up. It's just you're where I need to be to be able to see if I'm in the right place. So that's what they've done with that sheet. So then, oh, when I moved it, I must have messed up my hello. So I'm going to grab myself another tag and do that one again. Or, actually you can turn it over, but I have really messed it up on the back as well, so I'm really just not going to use that one. Hello sunshine, let's not mess it up this time. There we are, right. Give that a few seconds to dry. I want one of these blue strips. That one. And I need the twine <laughs> all the little flowers were in the little twine wheel so I'm gonna pop those back in I need one two they've got three on their card so one two three if you're looking at this and you don't like what they've done with the card it's your kit, you don't have to make what they say you make, you can make your own little suggestions and change this however you want. I've just gone ahead and copied them. <laughs> My gosh, it's just started absolutely bucketing it down outside. So I'm gonna pop that on there. I'm gonna stick it flat, so got our glue dots now I'm going to use my pick it up tool just because I find this a lot easier for me for placements because I've got long nails and I get into a mess but if you haven't and you've just bought the kit you can pick it up with your nail pop it onto your card like that and then it's just got the adhesive bit on move that off and you've got your adhesive dot it's it's no problem you don't have to worry that you haven't got the the take a pick tool but I just find it a lot a lot easier I still end up using my nail half the time but to me it, it's just a little bit quicker I'm gonna put four on there if you've got adhesive um, either liquid glue or any of our tape runners that would work it's just I'm just using what is in our kit popped it down towards the bottom just there so I'm going to do the same and then I've got my little strip here so I'm going to pop my dimensionals on if you are worried and when you buy in our kits because we do have a few so if you actually have a look at our pages and think oh Helen's picked the fruit one and I would have preferred this one or there's a hot air balloon one you know whichever one you use when you actually have our little sheets they have one two three fours and fives here to tell you what they're putting on and it correlates here with the first page so it will actually show you how they've gone ahead and made this so you can do it yourself okay So I'm going to pop that on there. They've put it a little bit higher. I wasn't really paying attention, so I've popped it there. <laughs> right. 
right my twine now they've put a bow and they've popped it underneath the sentiment so you've just kind of got the tassel hanging out my bow is a little tangled I want to sort that out before I put it on the card. I think it's because it's just come straight off that roll, all rolled up. Come on, unroll yourself. There we go. So I'm going to pop in a adhesive dot back on here about there and then the sentiment is going to go over the top like that so I'm just going to pop a couple of dimensionals at the top part of the tag. And I'm doing it at the top rather than in the middle because the strip's going to go there and the strip is already pushed up on dimensionals. So I don't want to have an uneven tag. So there we are. There's pretty much most of my card. I've now got these cute little flowers to put on. So I'm going to also do those with the adhesive dots. And I'm going to be a little bit different. They've put three on, but it took me ages to spot the third. It's, it's down here with the leaves, and I think that's just a little bit too busy. So I'm going to pop another one at the top there, and then I will put the other one on my lemon. But I'm just having a bit of a rebellious moment and popping my leaf up there. You know, looking at the other cards, I actually think this was probably one of the more complicated cards in the kit that I've started off with at the start. Typical. Now these flowers are pushed up, they're not flat. So make sure that when you put them on, you put them with the petals popping out so it actually looks like they're bouncing off the card at you. Okay, so there's card number one. Card number two is going to be just a note here. So that's using this one. And as I said, you can just use your block instead. That is using this punch out instead. And these just literally pop straight off the paper. Really good. It's using the just a note sentiments. I'm going to grab that and pop it on one of my blocks because um, as you've noticed I'm being lazy but also you don't want to sit for ages while I sit and clean all my stamps and pop them back in so just a note they then have a garden green punch out so I can't remember seeing that one so I'm just going to have a look You know, I still can't see it. Oh, well, I've got some over this side. There's my garden green punch out. <laughs> I was just about to say, this is awkward. They haven't included it. <laughs> so, garden green punch out is going to go there. So, I'm going to pop a couple of my glue dots. that one two so 
So not only are these kits for great for new stampers that are looking to get into stamping because it includes everything. You don't have to have any existing stamping supplies. They would also be really good to add to your starter kit if you're thinking of becoming a demonstrator because... Again, they've got everything in you can demonstrate. You can do a workshop really easy with these. You'll be able to do a party really fun with these. Um, now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go one, two, three, and get an actual bulk of twine. And then I'll put that into a ribbon. Hopefully I made it long enough. Did I? I didn't make it long enough. So now I've knotted my twine. I have actually knotted it as well. Oh, come on. Play ball. Right. So let's make that a little bit longer. One. Is that longer? I think that's about the same one. Making this more complicated than I need to. One, two, three. So it's about that long now, just off the camera. And I'm going to pop it into a bow. Like that so now it's a really thick full bow come along with my snips chop that off and you can see on here they've put a really full bow behind there so that's how you do that and you're going to want to stick it with a couple of the adhesive bot dots which has just fell off my desk onto the floor typical so i'm just going to pop one of those onto there. Pop it off, pop that on. While I've got the adhesive dots here, they've put a few flowers on this one. So they've put a flower here. Two flowers over here. And a flower up top up there. Okay, and I'm going to pop on my sentiment. Take off the backings. And pop on the flowers and that will be the second card done. So this was a lot easier than the first. I'm just going to pop myself a pile of these flowers up here because I think they've used them on every card. So Now, if you were looking at this take a pick tool and thinking to yourself, that would be quite handy to have, it actually has a lot of other functions and I will explain them to you. So there's that one. Which one am I going to do while well, I explain? To I'm going to do this one here. So I'm going to grab this punch out first so this is one of the punch outs here I'm actually going to clean all these little backing bits off my desk so and now we're on the melon mango card not melon mango mango medley those two colors I always get confused and if one of my teammates Karen is listening to this she'll be absolutely laughing because she always messages me and says you've done it wrong again you said mango medley you said melon mambo so mango medley and the two colors are oh, this indifference? This is Mellow Mambo and this is Mango Medley. <laughs> but to me, they sound the same. <laughs> right. So this is bone popped up on a dimensional onto the card. So yes, the take a pick tool is actually really handy. It has several different functions and it's called take a pick because you can take a pick how you use it. Well, that's how I figure they've named it anyway. So... I'm going to run that round first. 
what they've also done is they've done some twine around the back and they've tied it into a bow at the front so to make this easier for me and for you I'm just going to pop a glue dot on the back where I want the twine to run whip that off and I'm going to stick the twine to there with enough room to bow it on the front okay so I can now stick that down like that and pop my bow on so yes I will show you the many different ways you can use the tool. So there are a couple of heads to the tool. Okay. Snip, snip, snip. Okay. So you've got this head and you can twist it and turn it and you have got a paper piercer on this side okay there is another head that fits in let me see if i've got it handy for you and it is a scoring tool um, it's here so you've either got the palette side and the piercer which i've been using or you've got the thin score and the thick score and they all just fit in there and twist so you can keep moving around as you like i like it on the palette section on the other end you've got a bit which has this funny head in i take it off and keep it to the side of me because i don't like using it long i like using it small but let me show you so i'm going to pop my glue dot down where the flower should be one there one over there and i'll take the top off Now my flowers are up here and I've got two. Now this has a tacky putty, so I can pick it up on that end, pop it on my glue dot, push it down and it will stick. And it is just a very tacky putty that's on the end of that. It's not permanent adhesive, it sticks it down quite nicely. And then when you finish with that or if that gets messy or picks up any fluff you pull it off and you twist the head and more of the putty comes out so if you are using flowers and sequins and things like that that's really useful to have and stops you getting into a mess and that's a take a pick tool i think it's so handy i use it all the time so back onto one of these on my punch outs and I'm now using the thanks for being a you sentiment. I'm getting through every stamp on here, aren't I? So <laughs> thanks for being you. Ink that up. Stamp it down. Pop a couple of dimensionals on the back. And then pop that and there like that and that is my next card okay so that's three of the five done so let's turn on to the last page okay so let's have a look at these I need that one and this one so let's get those folded now i'm going to work on these two at the same time together okay and they are both landscape these ones so make sure you get them the right way you don't want them stuck that way they won't stand up so <laughs> For these, I have the same punch out. So I have that one on that one. 
There's that one and that one, and that's the end of my punch out sheet for those. And then I have that one and that one. And that one and that one. So that's the end of the punch out sheet for those. And then for my sentiments, I have that one for that one. And that one for that one. Right, so to save time, I'm going to use my glue runner. So that is our lovely stamp and seal. And I'm just going to use this. And I was given a tip about it the other day where I will... Oh, look what I've missed. I got too ahead of myself. So... I've made a mistake. I'm going to grab my silicon mat. You won't need a silicon mat because you're not going to make this mistake, but I've made it. So the silicon mat's great because it doesn't stick. You can keep pulling adhesive back off here. Okay. What they've actually done is they've done what I did with the first one and they have stamped on the little orange segments and the leaves around here so they've added a bit more dimension by doing that which I hadn't noticed so I'm just gonna do that myself and hopefully line it up but if I'd have just stuck this back on my grid paper to do I wouldn't have been able to get this back off it would have stuck completely Whereas while it's on my silicon mat, I know it's not going to stick. I will have to reapply the adhesive afterwards, obviously. But it, it's okay. It will stay there for a bit. And they've also put the stamp over all of the leaves. I can see why they've done it. It makes it really stand out. I do quite like that idea. And I like the fact it all lines up. actually having a little bit of an opinion that I'm not going to do all of them but I might do all of them I'm struggling to see from my vantage point if it's lining up Oh, that one definitely wasn't lined up, but my head would have had to be here to do that, which is definitely in your way. So is that, they've done all of them, but I think, I think I'm just going to have done these ones because my sentiment's going to be going there. So for time, I'm not going to do all of them, but you, you can easily do all of them. And as I said, this will just peel now quite nicely off my stampings, off my, um, silicon mat and as I've got my chamois close that will just wipe the ink off there as well okay but you you won't need the chamois because you're not going to make the same mistake as me Wasn't there a good job I noticed before I put it on the card? Right. Now they've done something I really don't like. Um, let me know your opinion. I, re I really don't like it when people do this. They've actually put the twine all the way around the front of the card, which means that when you open it, you're going to see the twine on this side. And I really dislike that. I like putting it around layers rather than the card because I don't like when you open it seeing loose twine personal preference so instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue underneath where the sentiment's going to be and I'm going to run some twine across it to there and then I'm going to loop it and I'm not going to chop it I'm going to run another piece across. And another piece. Okay, 
so I have loose pieces of twine now which might look messy because it's loose either side but you know what it's not going to be um, wrapped around my card because like I said I just I don't like it I know lots of other people do it and I see them do it and personal preference they might like it personally it just I really don't like it so now that I've put that there I'm going to grab one of my glue dots So as you can see by the time this is taking me and I'm rushing through this that this is actually going to be a fun activity for you that's not going to be just be finished in like an hour because I'm rushing through this and I know where I'm going you will have some great fun putting this together and it will be a nice activity for you um, and if you had a couple of friends or there's a few of you that's interested in crafting grab a coffee and come and compile one together there's plenty you could all work on your same cards at the same time have a nice little chatter kind of what I'm doing but I'm doing it virtually there we go so I'm gonna pop that on there and this one here is gonna say just a note on it And these have got very light detailed stitching around them so make sure you've got them the right side up that you can see the stitching and because I've already popped that up I'm only going to pop one at the top and one at the bottom so it doesn't get in the way of that banner once I've got it off my finger pop it over there and I'm going to do the flowers on the end when I've done the other one so here's this one which I thought I'd pushed out all the bits that went with it oh I have they're here they just fell off <laughs> so they're those and they've done exactly the same with this one so they've stamped over with the leaf where the leaves are so I'm going to actually be good and notice it before I stick it down this time <laughs> okay and then they've used the little flowers that are on here around the sides so they've put that one they've put it so it's that side on the card one two oh three I do like these little flowers oh I've done that twice right you're gonna see my head this time now I'm very sorry but I want to line that up people can't tell that I have made a boo-boo there we go and then they're using the final sentiment so through these cards we've used every single stamp on that set and it's way to go that they have used so let me pop that on way to go Oh. okay that's my favorite um one because i just like all of that font i think it looks really fun and i love the little explanation mark so that's that's my happy one okay so what i'm actually going to do with this is i'm going to be a little bit lazy because i have my tape trimmer but i'm going to stick this on here if you ha wanted to you could use your adhesive dots to do this and i'm going to stick this onto here before i stick it on the card okay so I've made a strip then I know that I can put otherwise I was going to be stuck with where I put my um my dimensionals okay and it would help if I'd stuck this one onto the card as well so if you're new to using stamp and seal and you have used snail and things like that before let me give you a tip I've learnt this out I got into a mess with this at the start but now instead of holding it this way like you do for seal if you hold it direct sorry like you did for snail if you hold it directly up like this 
and it's not going to work because I've just told you about it. Oh, get to the end. Like that. Are you going to work? I've literally just told everyone that you're going to work really well now. Thank you. You walk up that way and you go back so that it will do it again and again and again. So you can see I'm getting quite a few from that by doing it at a higher flick rate and instead of going off to the side I'm going there so you can see I've absolutely plastered the back of that now with seal and that is the better way I've found to use it well I say I've found to use it one of my teammates messaged me and said this is the way to do it <laughs> so uh, I've got a good team they're really nice we all help each other out so uh Pop that into a bow. Okay. Pop that on there. Pop that on top there. And other than the flowers on these two, which I'm just going to come in and do, that's the cards pretty much done. So where have they put the flowers? They've put one, two, three, okay, on there, and I put them up here. And one down here. Now they actually put their other one right next to that one. I'm not going to. I'm gonna pop it over here instead. So that's where my three are going on that card, and my three on this card. I mean, you could put as many as you like on. They've, they've put three. You don't have to do. Um, let me actually say that. Even though they've given you project samples as ideas, you don't have to follow what they've done. If you can see a different way or you want to mix and match and do something different on a different card, you go for it. This is your project kit. You make whatever you want to make with it. Um, I've followed their examples. That way, if you do buy the kit off me, and you want to see how they've made their examples, you can see how I've done it. But do experiment, and once you've done one of one card, you might want to do a completely different card with it. Don't feel like you're going to be stuck into doing these samples. You don't have to. Have some fun. So there's that one. This one here, I'm going to need a couple more of those flowers because I've only got one left. Okay. I like these, these are really cute. They're like a very strong vellum, actually, very nice. that back in the bag because I don't want to lose it. That could easily get sweeped away with the dimensional backings. So let's show you all five of the cards using the kit. And I still have lots of different bits left over. So I still have all of these pop-outs left, all of these glue dots, dimensionals, um, all of these pop-outs here. I still have all these cards left, the twine, these, and the stamps you can just carry on using forever and ever, can't you? So they're all still fine. Then I now have, if I just sweep all this rubbish off my good paper, one, two, three, four, five note cards that I've made with the set. 
with the coordinating envelope so I can just pop these straight in and post them out. What a handy dandy little set. I love it. And I can keep all of the bits and pieces now in the box and I'm going to know exactly where they all are which is very handy to me because I often lose things. So what do you think? What a handy little kit. £30. It's a bit of a bargain really. Um, stamp sets and all the bits and pieces to make these cards. So if you're a new stamper and you want to just get going and have a go, you've been watching YouTube channels and just want to see if you can have a go, say if you're buying everything to start off with, this would just be a handy little kit for you. If you are struggling at all just drop me a message slim and stylish at live.co.uk leave me a pm below happy to help you can purchase this from my store if you go to slimandstylish.com and go up to the header and click on buy and if you search for the kit it's called simply citrus card kit it's product code 153128 30 pounds and I will see you again soon. If you have liked this video, please do give me a little thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Bye.